Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do the clove hitch, also known as the double half hitch knot. It's a little tricky when you're a beginner, but once you have this under your belt, it opens up a whole world of macrame options. The first yarn is the guide rope. This is gonna determine the direction that the clove hitch knot goes. Horizontal we'll do first, and then I'll show you one diagonally. All the other ropes, which we will call the working yarns, wrap around the guide rope. So I'll take the guide rope, hold it the direction you wanna go. You wanna take the working yarn, so the one directly to the right of the guide rope. It comes behind the guide rope. Then you're gonna pull it over, and then through the opening. So I'll kind of trace the pattern here. So this one in my right hand is the guide rope. So the working yarn comes around, up behind, over the guide rope, and then through that hole. And then you pull it snug, holding your guide rope horizontally. Pull that nice and snug. You take that working yarn again, and you put it over the guide rope, around the back and through the opening. See the, the working yarn, it's coming around in front of the guide rope and then through the opening. And then hold the guide rope horizontal and pull that tight. We'll go to the next yarn. So it's coming from behind. You pull it over the guide rope. And now this time it's going between the guide rope and the working yarn through that opening. So it's coming from behind, over, around, and through. Pull that snug. You always do it twice for each working yarn for the clove hitch. So it's gonna go over the guide rope, around the back, and through the opening. Coming from behind, over the guide rope, and then behind and through the opening, and then pull that snug. I'll finish the rest of them here so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Now I'll show you this in a diagonal format. So again, we'll use the left rope and we're going to hold it diagonally because that's the direction that we want the clove hitches, or you can also call them double half hitches. That's the way we want them to go. Hold your guide rope the direction you want. Take your working yarn, which is the first one over. And again, you go over the guide rope, around behind and through the opening. And then hold, always pull it nice and snug. Holding it diagonally, take that working yarn again, over the guide rope, around the back and through that opening. Hold the guide rope in the direction you wanna go and pull it snug. Move to the next working yarn. Pull it around the back of the guide rope, over the top, around, and then through that opening. Hold it diagonally, pull snug. Again, over the top of the guide rope, around the back, through that opening. I'm gonna continue again all the way down so you can see how this will finish off. This knot takes a little bit of practice, but you will get it 100%. I so encourage you to learn this knot because it really gives you this whole new world of macrame and all these really nice patterns you can make with this knot. I hope you got value from this video today. Please let me know if there's any way I can improve it or if there's more information you might need to clarify on this topic. I'd be happy to make another video for you. Please like and or subscribe to my channel.